All right, welcome back. Um, let's talk about reading text files, um, specifically reading text files with less. Uh, the reason why I'm gonna talk about reading text files with less is because it's a nice program that I think is, unless you're gonna like pull up Emacs and <clears throat> read text files in Emacs, which is, if I'm being totally honest, normally what I do, but I don't want to get into using Emacs just yet. Um, it's nice, right? And it's got a lot of features. And I also, uh, you know, because of that reason, I have it set as my uh, utility that I read manual pages with. So um, let's get into it. Uh, one of the things that's nice about less is that you can uh, read multiple files with it. So you just list all the files you wanna read on the command line and you can go backwards and forwards between them with uh, colon N and colon P. And uh, you can type control G to get information on uh, which file you're on uh, and you know how many lines there are which lines you're currently like viewing um, and like what percentage that is how far down the file are you um, you can scroll down a line with and up a line with J and K and uh, also control N and control P uh, you can scroll down half a page with D uh, up half a page with U. Uh, you can scroll down a whole page and up a whole page with space and B. B as in boy. And you can scroll down and up with uh, a whole page with control V as in Victor and meta V as in Victor. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know to be able to just read text files uh, casually. And if they're not too long, that's all you will need. Um, however, if you've got maybe a longer manual page that you're reading with less, like the corn shell manual page, um, one of the things that you might wanna do is search for some text uh, in that text file that you're reading. And you can do this with forward slash. So I'm gonna look for parameter, right? And you can see there's a lot of them. And uh, you can, you know, scroll through all of them by just typing in. That'll take you to the next match. And you can go to the previous match with shift in. Um, and then you can disable the, uh, the highlighting by doing uh, dash G. The other thing that you can do is you can search backwards too. So it's just the opposite of uh, searching forwards uh, with forward slash. You just use a question mark and uh, typing in will take you to the next most previous match and shift in will take you to the next forward match. Um, and then there's one last thing that's very convenient. So suppose I know that I'm gonna wanna come back to this section of the manual page at some point. I can create a mark, uh, is what they're called, uh, by typing M and then any letter. Uh, I'll just use A in this case. And if I go really far away, I'm reading, I'm reading, reading some more, and then I realize, oh, I wanna go back to where I just was. I can type single quote A, and it'll take me back there. And then if I wanna go back to where I was before uh, jumping to this mark, uh, I can just type single quote twice, and it'll take me back to where I was. Uh, so those are some convenience features uh, for reading text files and manual pages with less. Um, 
you got to read a lot of man you're going to have to read a lot of manual pages uh to learn about uh a unix like operating system in any real detail so if you like this video uh hit that like button and if you disliked it uh hit the dislike button uh in either case uh let me know in the comments down below why as well as if you've got any questions concerns or criticisms and as always, if you want to get notified when I make new videos, hit subscribe. Thanks. Peace.